Welcome to DJM TV. My correct, correct people will greet you now. Welcome now to DJM TV. Oh, now, what's up, channel? With the summer on our updated update. Oh, we we'll get to be my people. Hmm. Nigeria had uh, a lot of things they happen. Insecurity said, Why won't take over? Not be smart. Now, inside this old boy, again, now in this uh, lady, one lady that I will be saying, uh, uh, dry cleaner work. Now, she did do. She don't cry, I come and say like this. Have customer take away armed men. As the people they carry umila, they carry everything. Come meet her, come beat her, black and blue. On to say the agreement made them make, people say they don't agree on. <laughs> the whole matter they complicate him, okay? Anyway, I will play on this video. Now, I'm going to to this uh, Japanese lady. How she narrates how they take beat her. Armed security men take beat her up. When I watch this video, they come back. We'll come and analyze this whole matter because this matter it gets us away. Watch and share. We are coming back. On 30th of January, a customer came named Am Ambrose Agogwese came to my laundry firm to bring clothes for us to wash. He requested that the clothes should be ready on Thursday, being 1st of February, which we declined because it's not possible. After much argument, he signed and agreed for Friday, and he left on Thursday, the 1st of, of February. He sent his driver to come and pick the clothes, which we told him wasn't ready and we didn't agree for, one, uh, for Thursday rather Friday. But he insisted he wanted to take it and we said, okay, if you want to take it, then you have to pay because we have already started the process of the clothes. And they refused. They said they would take the clothes without paying that they can't pay for a service that was not rendered. Which we also declined giving because we have already started our process and we didn't decline. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't, uh, we didn't decline the, what am I even saying? And we didn't breach the agreement that was given. So the driver that came called his boss. And before we could say that, he was there. The unfortunate thing is that he didn't just call for his clothes. He came for something else because I don't see the reason why a man will come into an establishment with armed men. I don't get it. For something that we didn't do, we didn't breach any agreement that we had with you. He was coming and he came with armed men. I wouldn't call them false because they are claiming to be police and they were wearing the uniform of police. It was no interrogation. There was nothing. They didn't ask any question. They just patched it. And I started recording because I knew what they were doing was wrong. The next thing I could see was someone me with the head of gun. He pressed here. I said, this thing he hit second. My, and he hit me like it's like he gave me my mouth and on my mouth I started bleeding. I could not phantom it. So my, my workers saw what was happening. They started recording with their own phone. So they started Baselessly, these people beat baselessly like we're criminal. <laughs> they passed in the trespass and they beat us mercilessly like we're criminal. In the videos I'm gonna upload next to this, you will see where we were screaming and asking them what we did. They mercilessly like we are all girls against four men that were armed. We couldn't do much. We tried to defend ourselves, but we couldn't do much because they were threatening to us. They were threatening to fire the gun. Could they did? <laughs> they had fired the gunshot twice. They would they pointed it at me. For some reason, I don't know why they didn't shoot. <laughs> or rather, they shot on the air twice. <laughs> and when I was demanding to know where they are coming from, why we are being treated like animals. The guy quickly noticed that uh, I know my rights, and he was forcing me enter the car which i refuse a car that i also have a video of it, it's his plate number a car that is tinted that has no there was no means of identifying it as a first vehicle and they were forcing me to enter so i refused i said they rather keep me entering the vehicle that i don't know where they are taking me to that if i must go to the station that we should rather use a public transport where people will see what is happening oh they refuse they keep hitting me with their gun <laughs> so when they when they saw that I was resisting them and they made for the call and four other men came and they were unhealthy. So people were outside gathering, but because they were shooting on the air, people were always running away for their life. 
So the last shooting they wanted to do, he pointed the gun at my stomach and was telling me I'm going to shoot. There's a video, there's a video recording where he said he wanted, he would shoot and a man, my neighbor, was telling him not to try it, he shouldn't try it. So when he said he shouldn't try it, I don't know what happened. He shot on the air again twice and that is it. They pushed me into the gutter and zoomed off. That moment I ran to the police station and told them what happened with the blonde and I was purely and the police had asked me to go to the hospital, they came to the crime scene, they picked some gun uh, some gun shell on the floor. Meanwhile, when they were shooting that gun, they were picking the shell and I didn't get it. Why were you taking away the only evidence that can implicate you? If you don't know what you are doing is wrong, why are you picking it? But unfortunately for them, they didn't pick one. They left one. They shot four times. Four good times. They shot four times. Four good times, they shot four times, and they left one on pit. So when the police got to the scene, they picked one. They asked me for the documents where he signed for Friday, I gave. They asked for the videos I gave. One of them, his cap fell off, and the cap was a civil defense cap. He was claiming to be a police, but what he was wearing was a civil defense clothes, who had no badge on him. And there's also a video that I'm going to attach that, in, that shows that there's no badge on his clothes, but he's wearing a civil defense clothes. So I had presented all the evidence that I have to the police, beyond every, every, every reasonable doubt that this thing that they did was just not right. And to my greatest surprise, they asked me to go on air and make a video. I had want to understand why they are not taking action. My eyes were so almost blind. I can't see with these eyes. I cannot see with my left eyes. I already had a bad sight before they with the back of their gun. I cannot see with one of my eyes. This eyes has been like this for days. I can't see. And this, I can't even, I cannot phantom the pain that I feel here. I don't understand why they are not taking action. Why nothing is being done. There's nothing. Nothing has been done. Me and my workers have been feeling pain endlessly for something we didn't do. We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> We're just minding our business and doing the business that we use. I don't understand. I don't understand how people that was meant to to save us are the ones that is always hurting us in this country. People cannot be saved. You cannot even go to the police anymore. You can't go to any post for help because you don't know who is who. I don't know the ungodly men that can't um oh. I don't know if the people that came to my office claiming to be forced, they did not identify themselves. I don't understand anything. They just took my phone, took my money and disappeared. I cannot find them and the only person that I know is the customer that brought them. Even that one too, I found all the information I have on him on the police but nobody is doing anything. Instead they asked me to come online. I didn't want to do this video. I didn't want my personal life outside, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> I really do not have a choice because I want justice. I was treated unfair. I was just trying to. <laughs> I was just trying to earn a living in a decent way. I didn't see what I did wrong. <laughs> I didn't see what I did to, to deserve this kind of treatment. <laughs> I didn't see why the police will not help me get justice. I don't know. So I'm calling on Nigerians to help me. To help me get justice. <laughs> this is not fair. I'm totally one of my eyes. This is not fair. This is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> My people not be smart in you. Oh now you wait this woman talk or send you waiting happen to her. Hey. This one get as it be my people how we not see her. Hey, best hey. to see open business they do you see a hustle. Okay, if I thought say the argument made they make from the beginning, you know enter. Then they will come carry armed security may come take beat woman like this. Maybe I don't see this matter. I don't have reason because this matter is somehow. Eh? They would they, <laughs> they would they shoot for her according to what she talk for. What did she talk? My people, how much? I'm gonna drop on a comment too because this one, I'm gonna share on. I'm gonna share this video. This video need to go far. What is happening in Nigeria? What is happening in our country? I'm gonna share this video. I'm gonna not forget to follow also all our social media handles. I'm gonna do it. See you in our next video.
DJ AP. DJ AP.